Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Skip, and you're watching High Volts Gaming. On today's episode, we're playing some Beam and G Drive. We have this really sweet mod loaded in here, simply called Off Road Parts. That's exactly what it gives you. It gives you some sweet off road parts for the Hopper and the D series. You can see here in front of us, we have both of the variants that come with the mod that you can just load up right into your version of the game without doing anything. A couple of really sweet looking builds here. Before we go into those and drive them around a little bit, let's actually swing on over to the website and check out all the extra parts. All right, so this mod's actually got quite a large parts list, so let's go ahead and jump on over to the website. You can see right here it says outdated. I don't really know why it says that. Uh, because it came out, you know, after the the latest update, you know, the latest update came out with the hopper. This mod came out. There has been a couple other updates to the game that have to do with the main update that we got. So maybe it has something to do with those updates or something like that. I don't know. It says outdated, but everything still works well. Now for the hopper, you see here we have the colorable camo skin, new metal front fascia, front bull bar, and off-road spare tire. So that's pretty cool. Right here for the uh, D15 or all, any of the D series here, we have the interior roll cab. Well, it says D15. I'm sure they would work with any one of the D series, right? Interior with a roll cage so you can actually uh, color select your uh, roll cage that you have inside of it. Colorable roll bar in the back of the truck so you can select the color of that. It's got the dirty camo skin there. It looks like you can put on the pigeon bed, so that's pretty cool. Pigeon rear bumper. Maybe that gives it more of like a uh, rock crawler look. We might have to check that out. Uh, engine stacks with the new body so you can see right here right you can see right there the engine stacks and then the common which means common between both vehicles we have the uh, Darren off-road wheels here the colorable off-road wheels we have the off-road tires that fit on most of the off-road wheels and uh, then also the 12 by 5 steel wheels from the pigeon uh, it has a picture of that down here too so you can do that as well if you like but these uh, colorable wheels, I really think, really look awesome. It's really nice being able to you know, match those to your paint job. It makes it look really nice. Uh, and then we also have the off-road tires for the 17-inch and the 15-inch wheels. So any of the, like, the uh, ETK 17-inch sort of sporty style wheels, you can run one of those on your truck. Uh, with uh, one of that wheel hub conversion mod, right? You can put that on your truck and then still get the off-road tires on those wheels. So that is really cool indeed. So let's go ahead and get back over to the, uh, to the game here. So we definitely have quite a parts list there, guys. We're definitely going to be doing some builds using these parts. I've already been driving around. The, uh, my default vehicle right now is the Hopper with a set of those wheels on it that are color matched. So that uh, the stock blue off-road paint job looks really cool. You might have seen it uh, in some of the other videos just with me messing around. But uh, definitely, definitely uh, some good parts to use to do some cool builds here. Let's go ahead and take this Hopper for a rip, wreck it around here a little bit. Then we'll take that D-Series for a spin. Like I said, having those, uh, you know, uh, colorable roll bar and uh, wheels just really, you know, sort of ties in uh, D-Series build, that's for sure. <laughs> this thing is no slouch. Those off-road suspensions doing its work. Those tires have awesome grip, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and switch on over to our D-15 here. This thing also looks awesome. Both of the camo paint jobs look really good, and they're both unique. It doesn't really look just like the same sort of paint job, and one of them's a different color and kind of dirty. No, that doesn't that doesn't really look like what was going on here. It looks like two different paint jobs, and both of them look really good. So, go ahead and give this one a rip. Just like I said, with that uh, color match roll bar, color match wheels, just uh, really going to make for some nice builds here, guys. So. Definitely let me know if you have any cool ideas down in the comment section below. Definitely take that into consideration. Nice, we jumped all the way into the mud hole. Go ahead and mud bog this bad boy. I don't think, no, we don't have a snorkel on this and we are currently underwater. That didn't work out too well. Whoa. Definitely has got some power in this truck too. I, I definitely like it when the modders put a good variant that goes along with their with their mod, you know. Some of them will just kind of put their parts on there, just sort of uh, you know, slap something together. Both of these variants feel uh, you know, definitely uh, balanced, definitely feels like a couple of good rigs here. You can take either one of them out and just go have some fun with them. Uh, this one probably could have used a snorkel if you're going to be uh, mud bogging it too much. It doesn't have the lockable differential, so we're not really in a, uh, a rock crawler territory here, but... Just a really, really good looking mod here, guys. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section below. 
like always, I'll make sure I leave a link for you guys. Definitely, definitely two huge thumbs up for me. This is one that you definitely need to have loaded into your mod garage. You need these parts. <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't even check out the roll cage. There's the interior roll cage that's colorable as well. You know what else we didn't do is put on the pigeon uh, rear uh, rear <laughs> fucking Oh my god, what the god here? Alright, so we saw the roll cage, uh, the interior roll cage in the wreck there. Let's go ahead and see if we can throw on that pigeon bed and see what the heck is going on there. See what that looks like. Bed, short bed, flat bed. Don't see any pigeon bed. <laughs> Alright, so I lost my complete train of thought, didn't know where I was in the video, so we're just going to do donuts until this thing blows up and end the video that way. So thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget about the monthly giveaway deal that I'm doing. I'm just going to be randomly selecting a video, randomly selecting a comment, and giving that person a giveaway prize at the beginning of each uh, month, right? So uh, this is uh, coming up on the end of April here, at the beginning of May I'll be picking out April's winner. Uh, this month's giveaway prize is that American Truck Simulator for the PC. So if you'd like to win, get your comments in now, guys. This thing must have a pretty good radiator. We are not even heating up yet. That's right, I know how to fix that radiator. Um, so you guys definitely let me know what you think about the uh, this mod down in the comment section below. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. I'll be getting out of first gear if we want to do a good jump. You guys, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm Skip, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.